everybody. I, I'm I'm honoured to have uh, the amazing Lisa Bailey here to be interviewed today. Hi, Lisa, and welcome to Hello. How Can We Shine. It's absolutely wonderful to see you, and I'm and I'm really. Um, thankful that you have managed to find time and I know your absolutely hectic schedule to be <laughs> interviewed by us so that was wonderful um so Lisa tell us first well you, you've already told me your name so um whereabouts are you in the world um in a lovely little town called Cannock Staffordshire which is um not far from Birmingham in the West Midlands yeah so for anybody who's watching anywhere else in the world if you look at England it's about halfway up from the bottom isn't it yeah, yeah. and it yeah. is beautiful and you've got the most beautiful can it chase haven't you and we have step, yeah which it's is a fantastic big space of greenery and amazing yeah and you can't use it at the moment can you because nobody's allowed no. out really are they? <laughs> no that's correct <laughs> no. so just to let everybody know you know we're we're in lockdown at the moment in the uk We've been in lockdown for a week and two days at the moment. So we've got just under another two weeks to go. Um, so I know most people who are watching will be in lockdown as well. So, um, yeah, I hope everybody's doing OK and not going stir crazy, not being able to get out and about. So, Lisa, um, what's your day job? Day job is a customer service advisor for a medical reporting company. Um, called Pegasus Medical within the Canuck area as well. Okay, so are you on the phone to people then? Um, a lot, yeah. So it's a lot of um, dealing with basically road traffic accidents. We're kind of like the middleman that will deal with solicitors and also um, kind of getting um, the medical reports that they need to send over to solicitors completed. So we find, we're basically we're experts finding experts. Okay, yeah. So I think I actually might have dealt with your company quite recently. <laughs> might have been, but maybe it was you I spoke to. Maybe. Anyway, they were great. <laughs> um, so, um, what, so what was your big idea to make a difference in the world during the virus? Um, for me, it was the shine a light to fight coronavirus, um, which is basically shining a torch a candle, fairy lights, anything you can find that isn't going to be harmful, um, such as like lasers or industrial torches, they're, they're not really advised to use at all. Yeah. Um, but for me, it was just to go out in your back garden, shine that light on Friday the 3rd of April um, up towards the sky and just take a moment to think of those that we've lost around the world um, to coronavirus. Um, to take a moment to think of those that are still fighting the virus. I mean, uh, on a daily basis, it's going up absolutely um, terribly. So it is to take a moment to think of those that are fighting it as well. But not also that to think of all the key workers, um, carers. I used to actually be a carer myself back in the day, um, yeah. going back about five years ago. So it's to think of all the carers, to think of supermarket staff. Um, to think of the brilliant NHS and the fantastic work that they're doing to keep everybody um, going at the moment with all the medical supplies um, and also just people um, that you might not think of like bin men and you know um, kind of like the lorry drivers that are driving all of the medical stuff around delivery yeah. drivers um, literally just everybody that's keeping us going at the moment I just wanted to take a moment to celebrate them as well and that's it is it eight eight thirty? Is it or eight? Yeah, eight thirty on Friday. On Friday yeah. evening, but it's but it's not. Oh well, let, well we're gonna. I nearly went. I nearly gave the game away then. But let's just <laughs> let's go through it bit by bit. That's so fun. how did you how did you decide that you were gonna do that then? How did you kind of let people know about it? Back in when we had the Paris attacks a few years ago, um, I actually did an event for that as well called Shine. I think it was um, Light a Candle for Paris. Yeah. Um, and with that, I just kind of got a load of shares together um, and got people to light a candle for the Paris attacks. That didn't do as extraordinary as this one has. This was on Facebook, um, yeah? On a group, wife, Facebook yeah. group, um, yeah. That also got a fair few thousand followers. I think I got up to about 3,000 within three days. It was, I didn't give it as much time, but it was quite, it was quite a cool group when I made it. Yeah. Um, and I just kind of sat there. So it was going back about five days ago and I sat there like 
talking to my partner as you do and I was just like I want to do something different and she was like what do you want to do and I was like I just want to do something different I want to be able to do something that's meaningful that people can like remember and she was like well well like what and I was like well like the candles but I'm just not sure what so I was like maybe shine a light and it just literally come from there and within probably five minutes I'd made the group I'd started having close family wow. saying do you think this is a good idea and they were like do it <laughs> <laughs> and it literally just that night, I think by the end of that night, I got to two, probably about just under um, a thousand followers, uh, members, should I say. And the next day I woke up and it was just crazy. <laughs> That's absolutely unbelievable, <laughs> isn't it? It went viral. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and, and have you kind of thought through why it's been so successful? What is it about the group that makes people kind of want to join and, and do that? One, I think it's kind of the thought that's gone into it. So just taking a moment to think of everybody. I mean, we've had the fantastic club, the NHS, which was brilliant. Yeah. The people around my area, they were all outside. And I think with something like that already being done, people haven't thought of, the people going through it the people we've lost I do think that is one of the most important things at the moment because you have to take time for the people that are you know dealing with it day in day out um but not only that I think it is the group itself there's such amazing people on there um I mean I have people on there that are going through it that have lost family members and they'll literally come on there and talk about I've just lost a family member We've got obviously oh, no, NHS yeah. team uh, on there and they share little photos of them going to work and fighting what they obviously fighting it daily, what they're doing. And it is just amazing. It brings everyone together and people feel that they can share absolutely everything on there. And it is being so heartwarming to see some of the stories. It has um, some bad stuff as well. Amazing. There's been a mixture, haven't there, of good, yes. bad and, and positive and yeah. just it's like a, a place where people can go and yeah. kind of just be and connect with other people, isn't it? Absolutely. It's, it's been phenomenal. I mean, I set the page out originally just to be um, for the event itself. I yeah. never expected it to be what it has turned out to be. And it has just been absolutely amazing. Like some, as I said, some of the stories that have been shared on it have been mind blowing. And for myself to see it go, as quick as it's gone it, it has just been crazy but it's been the most amazing thing that I think I've ever done in my life I just I, I'm so <laughs> I'm so amazed by you it's just wonderful how are you how are you coping with moderating it all absolutely to be honest absolutely fine I've got such a fantastic team um that I've got currently a few people um that are family members um that are on there that are helping me I've got a couple of other people, one guy from the Netherlands um, that's helping wow. me and another guy um, that when I first actually created the group, um, they just kind of come to me and said, I can help you be a moderator, I can help you be an admin, please, if you need any help, contact me. Oh, um, and when I seen it go as soon as it did and it got quite busy, I was like, I need your help and everybody on there, we, we, we've just been absolutely fantastic. There's a few of us that um working kind of nine till five during the day that other people will take over and do the best they can and then in the evening times you find we all come together and it just it's just been phenomenal that's amazing so, uh, <laughs> so go on then what's the what's the number that you're up to of people at the moment I think currently just before I had come on to the live it was just over 309,000 members oh my goodness great <laughs> That's yeah it's crazy <laughs> yeah that is just so great I'm so pleased um, so, what, so the so it so the impact is all about just giving people a space to to be and to share yeah. and to say the things they want to say that, yeah. that are sad or, or positive or praising isn't yeah. it yeah so um, yeah. how how are you feeling about all this um a, a bit of a pinch me moment to be honest it's it's just me I, I think sometimes I kind of sit there and look at the group and I think oh I haven't done that and then sometimes I'm sitting there like there was one post in particular that was shared um today uh, which is one of the members um sharing a picture of my face 
um, <laughs> saying you're you're a hero. Um, thank you for this amazing group. You've got three hundred thousand followers, and I seen that and I thought, oh, oh my god, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> and it, that's when it kind of started to dawn on me and it was just absolutely amazing to see that and I was like wow so I am starting to get there now but I think until the actual event takes place I think it's just going to be one of them moments where it's suddenly like oh my god I've done this yeah and it's just crazy yeah. to think that I've done it all over the phone as well it's just everything that I've got in place ready for the event it's just been absolutely amazing that's fantastic fantastic <laughs> um and so what's the very best thing about it for you? What do you know, what's the most thing that you like? I think, well, I think hopefully it will be the actual event itself. I mean, um, there's a few things um, that I've managed to get in place, like um, a local DJ that's actually created um, five different songs that the group had chosen right back when I first kind of started it over the weekend yeah um she's then managed to get all of these songs into one for like five minute kind of mix and today that was sent over to me as a little kind of tester and I was so brought like my emotions were all over the place yeah and it was like how have, how I've managed to do this so to see that and then obviously with it all kind of going to be mixed together over the next few days ready for Friday night I think I think it's going to be very emotional <laughs> And is it going to be a Facebook Live? Um, hopefully. I don't really, I haven't really kind of figured out how I'm going to do it yet. I think what the main idea as it stands at the moment will be, um, potentially I will go live, um, but then people will also um, potentially have to listen to um, a link that's put in the page so that everybody, my idea is that everybody can listen to this DJ's music at the same time. Yeah. Um, so not only will we be there kind of sharing our lights and, doing all of that people will be able to go on to this link listen to the music at the same time as sharing the lights that means then that nobody's kind of got to put their own radios on hopefully it'll all be on one page ready for everyone to just click on um, yeah. and then potentially I may go live but I think it may be that people will just listen to the music um, and then I might go live after just to kind yeah. of thank everybody for taking part absolutely and so <laughs> I, did I see yesterday that someone made a suggestion that we all put a pound in and raise some money um yeah so what what the next kind of plan is because i've had a lot of questions um over the last few days of well what are you going to do to our group when it's over and I, yeah. I at the moment to be honest it's kind of like oh my god um but my next idea is that i don't actually want to close the page down um whilst we're going through what we're going through and it's such uncertain times i want to keep it open so there's a place for everybody to talk to and that yeah. you know where they feel Important. safe to be able to share their thoughts and opinions yeah um, and also yeah. get a fundraiser in place um to be able to um share it to like local charities yeah um i know true. one of the charities that was an idea was the nhs um but i am now toying um with kind of getting another charity involved as well um but i just want to obviously make sure it's the right charity and it's fitting for what's happening right now it really needs to be doesn't it yeah yeah, yeah, definitely. It's international as well, so there's going to be yes. people from other countries as well, isn't there, who want to kind yeah. of do something. So that's going to be a bit of a challenge, I guess, isn't it, trying to get the balance it's, right? It has been absolutely crazy. So basically I've got people um, that are in the group that have come from the USA. I have got people in the group that are in New Zealand, Australia. Um, I think there's a couple in Spain, Italy, Germany. Um, I even think there's a few for I think I think there was some from um, Canada and places like that as well. It, but honestly, there's so many. But um, I know you've got I've one from East Swatini in Africa as well because she's yeah, absolutely, there. yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Um, and I know I've had to kind of do a bit of research myself, and I was able to find a fair few time zones. Yeah. Um, so what people have been able to do then is kind of either do it just before so for us it may be the day the night before um and for other places it could potentially be the day after but what i'm kind of advising to them is to do it in their time specifically yeah. Um, yeah. because at the end of the day it can all be kind of merged and put together and yeah absolutely. fingers crossed it cannot yeah it can all be shared so hopefully by next week i can be able to share something that you know everybody's been involved in and i'm really hoping that it'll be such an amazing turnout 
So we're going to video ourselves doing it then. Is that it? The idea is that everybody, yeah, I've not shared it yet because I've been so crazy, but um, the idea is that everybody will share their own little snippets. Yeah. Um, if, if I can, I want to actually get somebody that then kind of put it all together for me. Um, and then I'll have kind of like a good kind of, I don't know, maybe a five minute video of clippets of everybody doing their little thing. Um, so you will be great. randomly selected from the page. And that's my idea. But I think I've just got to get to the event first and then say, right, no, I can do this. <laughs> well, there's nine of us um, isolating here. So we'll all try and go out in the garden oh, together. Oh, that's fantastic. And, yeah. <laughs> Um, wow. and shine our lights up into the sky Definitely. that sounds brilliant so it sounds to me like you're pretty driven to make a difference in the world yeah definitely yeah and so you tell me about the 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 um when there was the paris bombing so yeah. any other things that you've done that make a difference um, i wouldn't know i'd say they're the most the two that i've got most success out of i mean um back in the day i did a um oh god what was it kind of like a bungee jump um that wow. was for a charity that was going back now when i was god i think i was around 18 19 years old mm. um and i did that for an anemia charity and raised quite a bit of money for them i think it was a couple of hundred pound back then but yeah, for well, them it was amazing oh god it was it was a very scary event that was um <laughs> and apart from that i do like to try and raise money for alzheimer's yeah. Um, because I lost my nan a year ago to Alzheimer's, oh, so um, I do like to do a lot for them as well. Yeah, my father-in-law passed away from Alzheimer's, yeah. so yeah, it is an important thing. We need to cure that, don't we? Definitely. Absolutely. And I think yeah. they're on the way to doing it, aren't they? So it's brilliant. Yeah, yeah good work. Definitely. Um, so you've told me about what, because my next question was going to be, what are you going to do with this amazing group of people next? But you've <laughs> told me about that. So I'm going to be interested, but I know you don't have an answer to this yet, but I'll be interested to know if there's a way that you can, if they're going to stay together afterwards, you know, after yeah. the, the, this is all over, we'll, we'll see yeah. what happens there. Yeah. So one of the things I wanted to do is to find out how the How Bright Can We Shine community could help you with this. What can we do to help? I think for me personally, it would be that everybody can share the story i mean we've all got family we've all got friends that are everywhere within the uk maybe even potentially the world um just for everybody to keep sharing for me keep talking about it over the next couple of days um inform neighbors friends if you've got them on text message or whatsapp groups i know a lot of people these yeah. days do tend to have like their neighborly whatsapp group or something yeah, so, so different platforms can, aren't they absolutely absolutely and for me at the moment the most important thing is to get so many communities neighborhoods everybody involved um just so that we can get as much out of it as possible and that is to bring everybody together for five minutes of their time um and just hopefully make something amazing and we'll have obviously a few photos and things of that to be shared around as well sounds absolutely brilliant yeah be delighted <laughs> to do that so what i'll do is i'll put a link to the facebook yeah. group in our um in the interview um and i'll yeah. probably try and post it on um our facebook page as a story soon uh, before that as well yeah Perfect. Absolutely Brilliant. wonderful. So I'm I'm very excited <laughs> about it. I'm kind of looking forward Thank to it. I live right on the edge of a village. So um I'm oh, gonna wow. have to kind of walk around the side of my garden to see if other people are shining their light into the sky Definitely. as well. <laughs> That's what we're gonna be doing on Friday night at 8 30. So um Lisa, it's just a joy to have spoken to you. Um <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you for being such an inspirational person. Thank you very okay. much.